So I've been on the lookout for a set of discs for quite a while now. Um, I was after a four meter set really, but the price difference between that and a three meter set was huge. Um, and I saw this set come up on Facebook Marketplace uh, and I thought it was rude not to really. I'm just gonna run a bit of grease over it before I take it out because it doesn't look like it's had much recently. Here's a little tip for when you're changing a grease cartridge. Sometimes when you pull this ring, it just rips off without pulling the little cap out. If you tap it like this, that will help just break that seal. And then this should come off easy. So I've just set the discs up. They're doing a really nice job. Um, conditions are pretty near perfect for February, really. Um, yeah, really happy. The tractor, of course, is off livestock duties onto arable duties now. So I dropped the straw chopper off this morning and discs are on this afternoon. So I'm just gonna let the tires down to about 15 PSI. So there we go. The front tyres, unfortunately, are on racing slicks at the moment. We've got a new tractor that's supposed to be delivered at the end of March, so I'll be buggered if I'm changing a set of tyres for about six weeks' work. It shouldn't be an issue anyway because it's so dry. So we are only mid-February, but conditions are absolutely perfect for drilling now. Um, I'm just going to measure the soil temperature and we'll find out for sure. So the temperature of the soil is just above 9 degrees, so for the time of year that's pretty high. So we're just waiting on delivery of the bean seed, but I've been told that should be sort of end of this week, start of next week. So we'll get this dissed up and get these beans in as soon as possible. So that's doing a really nice job. We're just lifting any compaction that the sheep's hooves may have made and we're just leveling the field out nicely for it to go into a zero till regime going forwards. So I'm just going to about two inches. So the beans are gonna get drilled with a weaving sabre tine. Um, what we'll do, we'll set the drill up so that the tines of the drill are just below the depth that I've disced. So that'll mean that if there's any smearing made by the disc, the tine should just loosen it up. Whilst I'm here doing this, Dad's at home hex vacuuming all the ewes. Um, it's already about four or five weeks away from lambing now. But we've had a hell of a job getting hold of any heptavac. Um, you can only get it in sort of doses of 250 now. So I don't know quite what's going on there, but a bit worrying.
also had the first few cows calf for the spring. Uh, me and Dad are up until one o'clock in the morning last night sorting one out. <coughs> I'll do a separate video on calving and our setup for lambing uh, in the weeks to come. So that's those two fields disked. Um, we'll get the beans planted hopefully this week, next week. Um, and I have got some quotes for some micro clover and some yellow trefoil that we're hopefully gonna spread into the beans in sort of April time. And that will hopefully form a living mulch. So I'll keep you updated on the bean planting and going forwards, the micro clover and yellow trefoil living mulch. Let's just hope the weather holds until the bean seed arrives and we get it in.